Welcome back to Odelia Vlogs. Dear students, today we will concentrate on module 2 of the subject communication skills and personality development. The contents are electronic media, various media and channels for brief business messages, requisites of good business writing, challenges in communication through mobile devices, factors to be considered in choosing media and channels, email, we will study email in detail because you will have a question draft an email on any topic next messaging that is also very important there are two types of messaging then blogs very important wikis and social media we can go to what is electronic media electronic media is used to disseminate information to a large audience at the right time example of electronic media are television radio telephone social media digital media or the wide internet now we can go to the second topic that is what are the various media and channels for brief business messages first one oral medium in person channel it involves talking with people who are in the same location it may be a one-on-one -on -one conversation or a formal speech or presentation here, people can see, hear, and react to each other. They can ask questions, make comments, and work together to reach a decision. Its main advantages are that it will provide rich nonverbal cues. It will allow expressions of emotions in your message. We can easily resolve if any misunderstandings are there. Also, it will provide opportunity for immediate feedback. But the disadvantage is that it is unless it is recorded there will be no permanent record of communication then reduces the control of communication over the message third disadvantage is it, res it is restricted to participants in the same location second one is oral medium digital channel it is a transmission of voice via electronic means both live and recorded it consists of telephone calls podcasts and voicemail messages its main advantages are that it will provide opportunity for immediate feedback also it can con contact with participants in distant locations the disadvantages of oral medium digital channel is that there is a lack of non-verbal cues next it is very difficult to listen if the audience are not focusing third one is written medium print channel written printed documents are the classic format of business communication it consists of letters memos and reports letters are brief written messages sent to the customers and other recipients outside the organization memos are brief printed documents used for the day-to-day -day exchange of information within an organization Reports are lengthy written messages on a particular subject. Its advantages are very, very advantages. That is, provide a permanent record of communication. It will allow writers to plan and control their messages. It can reach geographically dispersed audience. It will minimize distortion that can accompany oral messages. Also, it will give recipients time to process messages before responding. The disadvantages are, it will offer limited opportunities for timely feedback. It will take more time and resources to create and distribute. Also, lack of rich non-verbal cues provided by oral media is another limitation. Next is written medium digital channel. Most of the business communications are written digital messages, email, instant messaging, text messaging, blogging, wikis. These are our main methods of written digital documents. Its main advantages are very fast in delivery. It can reach geographically dispersed audiences, flexibility of multiple formats and channels, ability to link to related and more in-depth information. It will enable audience interaction through social media, easy to integrate with other media such as videos or photos. Its limitations are, 
it requires internet or mobile phone connectivity and also it is vulnerable to security and privacy problems it's easy to overuse chance for exposing confidential data and accidental forwarding and the last limitation is frequent interruptions and known business usage next we can study visual medium print channel photographs and diagrams are effective communication tools for conveying emotional content spatial relationships technical processes and other contents that are difficult to describe using words visual messages are mainly used as supporting material in printed documents its main advantages are it can be quickly conveyed the complex ideas and relationships can be quickly conveyed it will reduce the burden on the audience to figure out how a piece of message fit also it is easy to create in spreadsheet and other software and then integrate with reports its disadvantages are expensive printing charges it requires more time to create compared to text messages require artistic and technical skills to design the message the last one is visual medium digital channel business messages can be made alive through conveying visual media in digital channels infographics interactive diagrams animation and digital video have the power to attract audiences in ways that other formats can't in visual media one or more visual elements play the central role in conveying the message again its main advantages are it can be quickly communicated effective in describing complex ideas and processes it requires less language processing easy to remember compared to textual descriptions but its disadvantages are it's very very expensive more time and skills are required to create the message so this is a very sure essay question you have to study this now next we can study the requisites of a good business writing first one is unity the written message should contain unified sentences and unified paragraphs each paragraph should stress only one central idea second point is emphasis the ideas relating to the message should be highlighted in the order of their importance thoughts of higher value should be placed in the most prominent position graphs charts and audio visuals should be used at proper places to attract the reader towards the main idea of the message third one is complete the written message should be complete in all respects incomplete message breeds misunderstanding and misinterpretations which will lead to wastage of time and also it will irritate the reader next is clarity the message should be free from ambiguities and confusion the writer should think clearly and in logical sense next is concise the written message should be concise it should convey the message with minimum possible words without sacrificing the completeness and clarity of the message next is accuracy the message should be expressed with accurate facts and in correct language reporting of inaccurate facts and figures may mislead the reader leading to wrong decision i have given it another point that is you attitude it's usually asked as a short answer question so you should study this very well what is you attitude it's a conveying the message from readers point of view it's a method of showing empathy for the reader you attitude is the style of writing that looks at things from the reader's point of view also it respects the reader's intelligence protect the reader's ego also it emphasizes what the reader wants to know so what you should do to create a you attitude whenever we are talking while in speech or while in presentation whatever be you should always use you attitude even if you are writing brief business messages or letters whatever be you attitude is very important so to create you attitude you have to talk about the receiver not about yourself
do not talk about feelings use you and we instead of i that is very very important for creating a you attitude avoid you in negative situation so this uh, this is very important you have to study what is you attitude never skip it and uh, this conditions of business writing you might be asked only two or three points to study any such points you attitude as a sure question study that very well now we can study the challenges in communication through mobile devices first one is screen size and resolution the limited screen size of mobile devices is a challenge to many readers because the messages are much larger than the mobile screen the readers have to zoom it and but still it will not be understandable the whole document cannot be viewed and that is a limitation second one is input technologies typing on mobile keyboard is a challenge anyone using voice recognition in the public areas runs the risk of sharing private messages with strangers use of stylus in mobile devices is a slow and laborious process third one is bandwidth speed and connectivity the speed and quality of mobile connectivity varies with device carrier service plan and geographic location even users with high bandwidth service do not enjoy the advertised transfer speed so there is a drawback now we can study the next chapter that is what are the factors to be considered in choosing media channels first one richness richness is the ability of a medium to convey a message through more than one informational cue either it can be visual verbal or vocal facilitate feedback and establish personal focus use richer media to send complex messages and to gain employee commitment to company goals use leaner media to send routine messages and to transfer information not requiring much significance second one formality media choice is a non verbal signal affecting the style and tone of the message a printed memo or letter is perceived as more formal gesture than an instant message or email message third one urgency use a faster medium for delivering urgent message for a message which does not require immediate feedback choose a medium such as email or blogging that allows people to respond at their convenience next is cost choice of medium and channel shall be financially appropriate expensive media and multimedia presentations indicate a non verbal signal of sophistication and professionalism or a careless disregard for the company budgets next is media and channel limitations every medium and channel has limitations for example instant messaging is perfect for communicating simple messages between two people but it is very less effective for complex messages next is audio uh, i mean audience preferences while choosing media and channel consider the expectations and preferences of the audience if the audience prefers a particular media and channel use that format if it works well for the message and the situation the last point is security and privacy never assume that digital communications are private many companies use digital communications and there is always the risk that the networks may be hacked or messages may be forwarded to wrong recipients now we can study email it's a sure question for your external exam email is a method of exchanging messages between people using electronic devices it's an instantaneous means of communication and it is very cost effective a single message can be sent simultaneously to several recipients it facilitates paperless office messages can be stored in the memory box that is much advantages the disadvantages of email is that it's a one way communication we cannot know whether the reader has read it and once the reader reads it he will send the reply only at his convenience 
second one, uh, second decimal language is it will not be suitable for confidential matters because we all know there is much hacking, emails and all. There are a lot of hackers, so that is a disadvantage. Now, what do you mean by email forwarding? Sending an email by a recipient to, a, to other recipients is termed as forwarding of emails. What is email attachment? A computer file sent along with an email message is known as email attachment. Email we have to study in detail. I will teach you first one the characteristics of email. First one is concise. Unnecessary explanations, repetitions and wordy expressions should be avoided and ideas should be organized with fewest possible words because nobody has enough time to read. So it should be very short. Second one is single theme. The email should focus on one topic only or else it will reduce the impact of the message. Third one is correct. Correct format and structure should be used. Correct email address should be written. Message should be free from punctuation error, spelling mistake and grammatical mistakes. Fourth one is conversational tool. Conversational tone. One should try to maintain professionalism without being too formal. That is, he should use a tone which gives a personal touch to the email, but he should avoid being emotional. Fifth point is clear. Email messages should be simple and clear. Message should be written in direct speech and short sentences should be used. Now we can go to the guidelines for writing email message. First one is subject line. For every email, we have to put a subject line because lot of email come daily for uh, in, in case of a business organization and all, lot of mails will come. So we have to, it will be very difficult to know which email is. So we should always write the subject line. That part of email indicating the contents of the message is called subject line. So there should be a subject line attracting the attention of the reader because people perceive a lot of emails every day and it is very difficult to go through all of them. The subject line should be brief, need not be a complete sentence and must indicate the contents of the message. Second one is salutation or greeting. It is a formal or informal words used to address the reader of the mail. For example, sir, madam, dear sir, hello, etc. Third one is body. The body of an email message explains and discusses the subject matter usually around one central idea. The first paragraph should begin with a friendly opening followed by a statement of the main point. The next paragraph or line should justify the importance of the central point and supporting details should be presented here. The closing paragraph should state the action to be taken. Now the fourth one is complimentary close. The formal words used to end the message are, are called complimentary close. You are faithfully, you are truly, you are sincerely with warm regards. These are all some usually used complimentary clauses. The name of the center of the message is written below the complimentary close. Next is proper organization. The message should be properly organized. There should be proper arrangement of the different parts of the mail. Unorganized mail will irritate the reader. Next is formatting. Email messages should be formatted. Formatting will give the message an attractive look and provide clarity. Use bullets or numbers or markers so that the reader can easily grasp the details of the message. Next is complete and precise. Email messages shall be precise but complete in every respect. Do not omit, repeat or include anything irrelevant. This is a very, very important question. So you should study this very well. Now, now we can study what is messaging. It is the sending of written or spoken messages using a computer or another electronic device such as mobile phone. There are two types of messaging. First one is instant messaging. Second one is text messaging. 
Instant messaging is a type of online chat that offers real-time text transmission over the internet. Users can see each other via webcams or talk directly over the internet using a microphone and headphones or loudspeakers and allow file transfer. It is a set of communication technologies used for text-based communication between two or more participants over the internet or other types of network. It provides effective and efficient communication by allowing immediate acknowledgement or reply. It happens in real time and hence it is called instant messaging. The most popular instant messaging services today include Telegram, WhatsApp Messenger, Skype, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, etc. Second type of messaging is text messaging or texting. It is the act of composing and sending electronic messages. Typically, it consists of alphabetic and numeric characters between two or more users of mobile devices, desktops or laptops. It originated with SMS. SMS is short service message. It's a communication service standardized in the GSM mobile communication system that enables to send and receive text messages among different mobile phones. Now SMS has grown beyond alphanumeric to include multimedia messages, which is known as MMS, Multimedia Messaging Service, which contains images, videos and video content, as well as ideograms known as emoji. Text messages are used for personal family, business, and social purposes. Now we can study what is a blog. A blog is essentially an online diary where anyone with a basic knowledge of computer can post anything, random thoughts, photos, homework, poetry, travel vlogs, etc. Uh, blogs range in scope from individual diaries to political campaigns, media programs, and businesses. Blogs range in scale from the writings of one occasional author who is a blogger to the collaboration of a large community of writers. Many blogs visitors, many blogs enable visitors to leave public comments, which can lead to a community of readers centered around the blog. The totality of web blogs or blog related websites is known as blogosphere. That will be asked as a two marks question. What is blogosphere? Now, there are different types of blogs. Personal blog, corporate or business blogs, collaborative or group blogs, aggregated blogs, general blogs, media blogs, device blogs and reverse blogs. We can study each and every one in detail. First one personal blog. It is an ongoing online diary or a commentary written by an individual, but it attracts only few readers that, and they may be immediate family members or friends. Second one is corporate blogs or business blogs. Blogs used internally and available only to the employees via internet are called corporate blogs. Use of internal corporate blogs enhances the communication culture and employee engagement in a corporation. It is used to communicate news about the company policies or procedures, build employee unity and improve the morale of the employees. Companies use external publicly accessible blogs for marketing, branding and public relations purpose. Next is collaborative blog or group blog. Collaborative or group blogs are posts written and published by more than one author. The majority of collaborative blogs are based around a single theme such as politics or technology. Next is aggregated blogs. Aggregated blogs are blogs created by individuals or organizations by aggregating materials on specific topic, product or service and providing combined view for its readers. Next is general blogs. Blogs focusing on a particular subject are called general blogs. 
the common types of general blogs are art blogs, music blogs, political blogs, health blogs, travel blogs, book blogs, education blogs and legal blogs. Next is media blogs. Blogs focusing on a particular media are called media blogs. A blog comprising of videos is called vlog. Comprising of links is called link log. Comprising of photos is called a photo blog. Blogs with mixed media types are called tumble log. The next type of blog is device blog. It is defined on the basis of the device used to compose the blog. The next one is reverse blog. A reverse blog is composed by its users rather than a single blogger. These are written by several contributing authors on a topic or open for anyone to write. Now we have to study microblogging that is very very important uh, question usually it is asked as 5 marks question or 2 marks question. Microblogging is a more concise form of blogging. It is a type of content distribution which prioritizes short term content on social networks over long form content on the web or other traditional formats. The most common example of microblogging is tweeting, that is posting short term, short form text content on the Twitter. Microblogs are used for providing company updates, offering coupons and notice of sales, presenting tips on product usage, sharing relevant and interesting information from experts, announcing the headlines of new blog posts, engaging with customers and serving as the back channel in meetings and presentations. Microblogging is no longer solely about sh posting short text based email messages. It also encompasses video and photography based blogging. Now we can study what is a wiki. A wiki is a collection of editable pages about a specific subject and is used by a team to collaborate on content about the subject. A wiki owner creates a wiki, gives it a title, adds a description and tag and specifies the initial members. Depending on their access, permissions, members can read the wiki, add or edit the pages and add comments. But as the members begin editing existing pages, yet. now we can study wikis. A wiki is a collection of editable pages about a specific subject and is used by a team to collaborate on content about the subject. Wiki is a method for teams and groups to collaborate on writing projects from brief articles to long reports and reference works. Depending on the access permissions, members can read the wiki, add or edit the pages and add comments. But as the other members begin editing the existing pages, adding comments or creating their own pages, the wiki becomes much, much complicated. The online encyclopedia project Wikipedia is the most popular wiki based website. It is not a single wiki but rather a collection of hundreds of wikis with each one pertaining to a specific language. Now we can go to the last session that is social media. Social media is a technology which enables us to share any kind of data, be it images, videos, blogs and much more information with others. Objectives of social media are to disseminate information to a large audience, to increase the potential impact of important messages, to engage the public, to empower people to make informed decisions, to share information very quickly and easily. Before writing for social media, the writer should know the audience, engage the audience. He should always use a plain language, create relevant, useful and interesting contents and tailor the message for different social media. YouTube, Instagram, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, these are all some important social media people are using. And today we are coming to the end of module 2. Hope. You have understood everything. Don't skip anything. Whatever I have given is um, based on your exam. So study very well. Thank you.